Hey, what's going on everybody? Chad Wisco Boater Channel here. Um, got a tugboat update. Got um, the rear bench pad in place. It's just sitting there right now. Uh, but today I'm gonna work on getting this secured. I think I'm just gonna use some little eye bolts back here and then tie this to it. That way that can fold up and easily come off. And the pads that are underneath it, um, I don't know if I showed these before or not, but I got these cut. And in place, they just sit there. And I'm also going to work on the uh, carpets, the what I'm going to call um, sidewall rub carpets. They're going to go right there on both sides. So what happened last time was I bought fairly cheap carpet tape, which is still stuck to the sidewall. And then I bought what I thought was double-sided permanent adhesive carpet tape which is what you see here. But what I actually bought was uh, one-sided. So this paper that's on here, does not, it doesn't peel off. It's, it's actually stuck to the uh, tape. The tape is now stuck to the carpet. So what I'm gonna do today is take some more carpet tape that I bought right here. And I'm going to run tape over the Just gonna put strips of tape over this that's gonna stay in place and then I'm hoping because this stuff is super sticky I'm hoping that it will stick to the back of the bunk carpet and then with this stuck to this will then stick to the cheaper tape that's on the sidewalls that's the plan we'll see if it works <laughs> What you saw right there was a test piece. Um, so I stick that down, it's gonna peel right off. So what I'm gonna have to do is take all this off and basically start over. So this was all basically a waste, waste of time. So I'm not gonna record myself peeling all this off, but I'll be back when I start working with this tape here. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just gonna hang this piece of bunk carpet right in here. and then the chair can swivel and rub and not scratch the paint anymore. And it should adhere very well since there's already tape on the wall. Because what happened last time was I stuck this up here and that super cheap tape just didn't hold up and it just fell right off the carpet, leaving the tape on the wall. So now I have bunk carpet as rub strips on either side. And I think that'll work. Hopefully it stays. We'll see if this is still stuck tomorrow. Okay, I got a little hole drilled right there. Just gonna take this eye bolt and tighten it 
or screw it in just a little ways. It doesn't actually go through the back of the transom. It doesn't have to go in that far because we're literally just holding a super lightweight um, cushion in place. So that's it. That's it right there. So I'm going to do the same thing the other side and then I'll get the cushion tied to this and it'll be secured. All right, there it is in place. Uh, just a simple bow tie in the back here just to keep it from moving around when we're actually using it. And a simple bow tie means that I can take this off when we're trailering it so it's not going to fly away. But that's exactly what I wanted to do in case I need to get into the uh, um, battery area while we're on the lake for any reason. Worked out great. All right, so now all we gotta do is take it out on the lake. So let's give it a try. All right, well, it's been a few days uh, since I put that cushion in. Finally had an opportunity to get the tugboat out um, in the water. So I'll go test out the cushion and uh, probably drink a beer or two, I would say. Okay, well, we're off the dock and you can see the cushion back there. That's all this video was about, is to show the cushion. <laughs> it's a little breezy out here today. Which would be interesting because I haven't really had it out on a breezy day. I mean, we're talking like six to eight inch seas here on this one mile of wild lake. But interesting to see how this, uh, once I get out here a little ways, how it does just uh, sitting without any power if, ever, if I really drift away or what actually is going to happen here. So we shall see. it before but I did fix the block. It's uh, siliconed in place now so it's it is good and tight it's not going anywhere now. So I'm now sitting on the new bench seat. It's comfortable. People can sit back here and be just fine. And I uh, shut the end the uh, shut the motor off. I'm just sitting out here in the middle of the lake. A little breezy today, but not too bad. One more little shot of the new rear bench seat. America. Whee! I'm turning. All right, well, it's getting a little breezier out here, so not that I, I mean, this, this thing can handle, I've had it on the Sturgeon Bay, and it can handle, you know, one foot wave and some wakes and stuff, but getting knocked around a little bit, so. The uh, test of the rear cushion's good, the test of the steering block, Staying in place is good. So I think I'm gonna take it back into the back and put it on the trailer and sit at the bar and have beers. So thanks for watching the uh, Wisco Motor Channel, everybody. If you like this video, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you like it, and leave me some comments. Always love hearing from everybody. And um, might be the last time I take the tugboat out this year. I don't know. It's uh, end of August. I might take it out a few more times. We'll see. But the big boat's coming out of the water here in less than 30 days. So 
I'll still have this available to get out in the water if we have some nice days in September or October or something, but we'll see. I need some people to go with me. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on the Whisker Water Channel.